This video is sponsored by Zebronics. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build then make sure to check out zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information check out the link in the description below. Hey guys what's up this is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna take a look at creating some really cool corporate presentation in After Effects. Now this tutorial is gonna be purely for people who are just getting started with After Effects that means this tutorial is purely focused for beginners. So if you're kind of an intermediate to advanced level user then this tutorial may disappoint you a bit but hey man there is always something new to learn. So anyways without any further ado let's get straight into After Effects and get started pretty quick. Alright so here we are in After Effects so as always I'm gonna start by creating a new composition which is gonna be 1920 into 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds. Let's rename this to main comp which I do always. Hit OK. Alright so let's create one more composition for our media. Now you can use an image if you want or a video if you want whatever that you guys like. So I'm just going to rename this to media and hit OK. So we can just drag in our image or video whatever that you have. Let's scale this down a bit. Something like that. Perfect. And then right off the bat I'm going to start by creating the shape or the circle animation that you saw. So to do that it is pretty simple and easy. So I'm going to select my ellipse tool, not my ellipse tool, the After Effects ellipse tool. <laughs> And I'm going to set the stroke to around, let's go with maybe somewhere around 300. And let's set this to white. We don't need the fill, so I'm going to set this to none and hit OK. And hold Alt, Control and Shift to create a perfect circle just like that. So now we have something like this. So let's rename this to circle underscore 01. Go to ellipse 1, ellipse path 1. And let's play around with the size. So maybe I'll just set this to around. Let's pretty quickly center this up first. Let's increase the slice. Increase the size, not slice. 1080 maybe. Okay, perfect. And then what we can do is add a trim part to this. So let's add trim parts. And set the end to zero. And now basically we're going to animate this but we're gonna animate this half the way so I'm gonna set the start property to 50 and animate the end property just like that as you can see so from 0 to 50 so let's set this at the very beginning let's set this to 0 oh let's set this to 50 I guess or maybe I'll just set the end property to 50 and play around with the start property it's basically the same thing as you can see. So let's set this to 50. Create a keyframe at the very beginning. Let's go to around let's say one second and set this to zero. So now we have a basic animation which looks something like that. Let's select this hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes. And then we can just move it right just like that. By the way, I'm holding shift to, you know, be precise. I'm going to place it somewhere around there. So now we have a simple animation. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and hit control D. So we have two copies. I'm going to set this to red color so we can identify it or see it more properly. Let's bring this right over here so we can see it more properly so now we have a simple animation so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically change the direction of the animation and to do that I'm gonna select the layer and hit S to bring down the scale properties unlink the scale properties and I'm gonna set this to minus 100 and as you can see we still don't have the animation so now basically we can just rotate this up so hit R to bring down the rotation properties and I'm gonna rotate it to somewhere around let's go with 180 degrees and there we go so now we have a different 
animation not the different animation just the animation happening from the different direction so i'm gonna place it somewhere around there and basically what i'm gonna do is play around with the stroke size so i'm gonna set this to 150 this time you can play around with different number of you know different numbers and you know experiment this trying to make it look really really cool so I'll place it somewhere around there i guess and let's increase the size so i'm gonna hit u two times and increase the ellipse just like that just use the arrow key just to position it properly somewhere around just like that so now let's see what we have so we have two different kind of animation as you can see pretty cool so now all you need to do is select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them on the top so now we have circle one two three four and basically what i can do is just select the third one first of all hit u two times to bring down all the properties and increase the size just like that and play around with the strokes so i'm gonna set this to around 200 and just place it somewhere around there by using the by increasing or decreasing the size property same goes with the fourth one hit u two times increase the size and place it somewhere around there you can see a bit of a line right over here so i'm gonna decrease the size a bit perfect and this one as well there we go so now we have something like this and itself it looks really really cool but what I like to do is displace them a bit just to create a progressive animation so I can just displace them by 10 frames maybe let's see how it looks something like that okay pretty cool pretty cool let's uh, duplicate this circle fourth so now we have circle five and increase the size and just to give it a little bit of accent i'm going to set this to five pixels and just place it somewhere around there and it's going to give a little bit of accent to our animation i'm going to hit u so we can see the keyframes and increase the animation time of the keyframe to somewhere around let's go with maybe five seconds let it start from somewhere around there so now we have a simple accent animation as well pretty cool so I'm happy with this now what I'm gonna do is select all the layers right click and pre comp this and let's call this matte and hit ok let's drag in our media composition below this there we go and then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this mat, hit Ctrl D, let's hide the media composition for now, let's change the color so we can see it more properly. And on the mat 1, I'm going to add, or basically what we can do is actually I'm going to hide this mat and keep the media on and change the media track mat to alpha mat. So now we have something like that. Let's create a duplicate, hit Ctrl D, place this below, set this to none. And right now you can't see anything cause the reason is I'm gonna scale this media up a bit so it is maybe around 120 so we have something like that and one more thing that I'm gonna do is turn on this mat and add a fractal noise to this there we go let's set this to or maybe I'll just leave this to basic let's set this to blocks and let's play around with the brightness and contrast a bit maybe increase the contrast and set the complexity down all the way to 1 and let's increase the scaling of this something like that and we need to you know animate the evolution just like that so to do that what I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold alt and click on the evolution stopwatch and add an expression called times into let's go with 100 so the evolution is gonna keep on animating just like that as you can see looks pretty cool and basically then let's add a fill to it maybe I'll just bring this on the top and we can't see it on the top let's delete this I'm gonna decrease the opacity down to 50% 
Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some color to this animation. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate the mat and get rid of the fractal noise. So we can delete this up and add a fill to it. And then we can change it to any color that we want. So I'm going to keep it to something like a blue color. And there we have a really nice looking animation. And to make it look even more better, what I can do is, I can uh, duplicate the mat. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's change the fill to white. Bring up the opacity all the way up to 100. Place this behind just like that. And let's move it a bit to the right. So now we have a really nice accent for our animation as you can see. It's up to you. You can just use it without this accent or with. I like it with the accent and it looks pretty cool as you can see. Really really nice. And to give a little bit of animation to the media as well, I'm going to animate the scaling property of this. So let's create a keyframe at 100% at the very beginning. Let's go to 5 seconds depending on how long your animation is going to be. I'm going to set this to 120. So now we have a little bit of zooming animation with our, diff uh, with our corporate slideshow. I think 120 is a bit too much. I'll go with 110. Really nice and simple. And then we can just go ahead and add some text to complete this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text tool and type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in corporate presentation. And there we go. Let's place it in the position that we want. So I want this to be somewhere around there. A bit big. Like that. Let's change this to Unisans bold. That looks pretty cool actually. And let's create a square pretty quick. So let's select the rectangle tool. 5 pixels looks good. Maybe I'll make it 10. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's select the shape layer and the corporate text and align this up. Just like that. Let's rename this to something like box you can of course call it anything that you want something like that maybe we'll play around with the size a bit so maybe we'll just place it somewhere like that looks perfect to me and then we can animate the trim parts as well so we can animate the strokes close this up and animate the stroke just like that so i want the animation to start from around two seconds Let's create a keyframe on the end property. Let's go to 3 seconds and set this up to 100. Also create a keyframe on this offset. Let's go back in time. And I'm going to set this to minus 90. Select keyframes, hit F9, go to graph editor and pull this handle just like that. So now we have something like this. Really, really cool. And I'm going to also animate the text as well. So right over here let's create a position keyframe for the text go back in time to around let's say one second and ten frames and place it somewhere around like this select the keyframes hit f9 graph editor and the same exact thing just like that so now we have an easing animation maybe i'll just drag this a bit more to somewhere around there okay looks pretty good to me Pretty happy with the animation. You can also add your description text. So I can just duplicate this. Hit U. So somewhere around there. Let's pull this down just like that. And maybe I'll just play this to around 40 pixels. And this can be my description text. So you can type in anything that you want. You can make it a book and increase the size a bit I think the regular is too thin so I'll just go with Unisans regular okay that looks pretty good let's see what we have really nice maybe we'll display this a bit so we have a little bit of dynamic animation 
and it's really simple and minimal to use and as you can see you can do this with you don't need to exactly use a circular shape you can also do the do this with a different shape maybe you can use a rectangle as well that would look cool though that would even look cooler all right so let's go ahead and now retouch this animation a bit to do that what we can do is create a new adjustment layer let's call this cc for color correction let's add some curve to this and just bring this down a bit just like that let's create a new adjustment layer let's rename this to win for vignette and add a pretty quick curve to this bring this down this is just my way of creating some vignetting so select the ellipse tool double click on it invert the mask and feather this up by hitting f and feather this up to around 600 pixels and there we have a really nice looking vignette and our scene looks even more interesting as you can see without it with it looks really really nice so it's a pretty simple and easy way to create some really nice and corporate looking presentation in after effects so i hope this tutorial so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative